Hey guys, Jason, surviving dad life. Uh, yeah, I'm still surviving it, but this is gonna be day three of the camper build. Uh, I got some stuff from Lowe's and I'm gonna paint the camper, trailer, frame, whatever. Let's get after it. All right, what I've got to paint the trailer with, or the frame, whatever you wanna call it, is, uh, a rust remover and this actually says that it instantly converts rust to a protected paintable surface and it actually tells you on here not to remove the rust well no it does tell you to remove the loose rust anyway this thing's been washed and uh, I'm gonna get to painting it. I've never used one of these before. So I'm gonna try this thing out and see how well it goes. But anyway, I guess you just stick it on there and go to town on it. Anyway, we'll get started. Okay, here's where I'm at. That's where we'll start. We'll see how good this stuff actually covers. Start right here. Not too bad, just one coat. I think I'm gonna try to put two coats down. We'll go over here and see how well this stuff does. But Now, this is all, I mean, just happened, so of course it's going to look good, but let's spray down the whole trailer and then uh, we'll go from there. This thing seems to be all right. It's better than squeezing the trigger than having to press down all the time and hurt your finger, I guess, the tip. But this thing seems to be working okay. Okay, y'all probably don't want to watch this whole thing, so I'll throw it in time lapse. In case y'all are wondering, I hate painting with a passion. I hate it so much, but I don't know. I got a lot of it done 
except for the axle right there and man actually i can see a whole lot that i missed looking through the camera you can see it but when you look at it with the plain eye you can't see it oh there it is aha anyway i'm gonna knock out some more of this i know this is a lot of time lapse stuff but this is all boring later in the video i'm going to be doing some of the wiring and i'll be able to take you guys through that whole step or process so let me finish tidying up the paint and stuff Okay, I've gone over most of the trailer with it. As you can see, I hit a good majority of it. It looks totally different, but I'm gonna empty out the rest of this can, just touching up on it. And then when you guys see me again, I'll be pulling electrical wire through it and getting it prepared for the trailer lights. And then after that, we're gonna put in flooring. All right, from what you guys saw earlier, I got the trailer painted. I got the rust reformer on it and it covered all right. The next thing I'm gonna do is I picked up this trailer wiring kit, light kit, whatever you wanna call it. And all I'm gonna do today is run the wire through the trailer. I'm not gonna put the lights on it because It'll actually get attached to the camper itself after it's built. So, anyway, let's run some wire. All right, as you can see, I've got my trailer all ready to go. The flooring I haven't put on yet because I'm waiting on this. I'm not gonna get these lights out like I said earlier, but there's the wire I'm gonna run for it. And here is like a diagram. All right, I'm gonna pull out all this wire and get it all straightened out, but I'll explain these to you. The two brown ones, as you can see there, these are gonna go to the trailer lights and they're just gonna turn them on. Like if you're riding at night and you kick your lights on, these, uh, just turn them on so you can see it at night. These two, the green and the yellow, Okay, the green goes to the right light, yellow goes to the left. When the green comes on and sends power to it, it'll illuminate it and light it up so it'll flash your turn signals. So I'm gonna get all these separated. You can see the green and the brown are connected. The yellow and the brown are connected. And then this is just your ground that's gonna be attached to the trailer. So the whole trailer is actually grounded. But I'm gonna get all this straightened out pulled out that way uh we can start running the wire and as you can see i have a big mess all right got it okay this is just to show you how or what i'm thinking there's the yellow wire which goes on the left side i'm going to run it down that channel there then into this one all the way down and then i'm going to have it coming right out the back well actually i'm going to pull it down and have it come out the back here because my camper is actually gonna come all the way down here and then tie into the spare tire carrier and all that. So here we go, fun stuff, pulling wire. All right, I don't really know how much I'm gonna need as far as slack to connect to the trailer. So what I've done is 
I've got, I don't know, about 12 inches. I've wrapped it around this a couple times. And then when I unwrap it, I'll actually have more like 18 inches. And then also that'll keep it tight for whenever I'm pulling my cable down through the trailer. Got everything run underneath. I've got the left side here in my hand. And we're gonna start with this and I'm gonna run it along underneath that channel into this one there and then all the way to the back. I don't care what your friends tell you. Running cable ain't fun. Ah. I'm gonna leave this outside this channel because I'm not real sure if that's actually hollow, but right in this area, I need to put a side marker light in so this will give me access to it to where I can run a cable into the side. Okay, you can see I'm still down in that channel. Now I'm going through the channel, outside this piece. And that'll give me access to the side marker on this side. All right, that's gonna be it for this one. I know you guys probably thought that was boring just laying down a coat of paint and just running a wire real quick. On the next one, I'll be laying down the flooring on it and then undercoating it. I think I finally figured out what I'm gonna use on the underside to keep the flooring from rotting and you know falling apart and keeping it to where it'll last for a little while. But anyway, make sure you like and subscribe, comment down below, and catch on the next video.